Hi, this is John Sawash, and in this short video, I'm gonna explain why Google Classroom is such a essential tool for teachers. Now, Google Classroom is a learning management tool, very similar to Canvas, Edmodo, Schoology, Moodle. There's so many of them out there. They're all great. You really could do a great job with any of them. But if you teach in a school that uses G Suite for education, if uh, you enjoy using Google Drive, if your students are using Chromebooks, then Google Classroom is a marvelous fit. Now, every teacher must accomplish three basic things in the classroom. These things are so basic that you just instinctively know them. You've probably never been taught this or, or thought about this, but every teacher has to accomplish these three things. Number one, you need to be able to send information to your students. How do you get information in front of them? It can be verbally, it can be printed on a sheet of paper, but you need a method, a simple, easy method to get information in the hands of your students. Secondly, once you've passed that information out, you've given students uh, instructions on an assignment, you need a simple, foolproof way for students to turn in to submit that work back to you. And then finally, once you've received that work, you need a strategy for grading and providing feedback uh, to your students uh, and then giving that feedback back to them. Now, in a traditional paper-based classroom, uh, it went something like this. Uh, you would either give verbal instructions or you would type up your instructions and expectations and run off copies on the uh, school copy machine. That's still very common today. And it's a great strategy. It's very effective, it works. Um, secondly, when students are ready to turn things into you, you probably have a basket, a bin, a folder, something in your classroom where students uh, know to turn in their work. And then finally, most teachers uh, you know, grade and assess student work with the red pen, the purple pen, the green pen, whatever color uh, you happen to be using today. This is how we have run our classrooms for decades. When I was in school, this is how it worked. And this is an effective strategy, it can work. But we have increasingly began moving to more digital content. We're asking our students to turn things in digitally, to create things uh, digitally. And so we need to update our methods. The copy machine, the basket, the red pen are not as effective as they were in the past. Now, the internet is a wonderful place, but it can also be incredibly overwhelming because there are about 8,000 ways you can accomplish these three things on the internet. You only need one. You need one simple way for uh, students to receive information from you, to turn information into you, and then for you to grade and assess that information. Now, not really much of a, a secret here. Google Classroom could be that solution for you. Google Classroom provides a simple way for students to receive information, their assignments, instructions, examples, rubrics, uh, grading expectations from you. It's a simple, foolproof way for them to submit their work to you so that you know exactly who submitted it, when they submitted it, time stamped, ready to go. And then finally, Google Classroom has some wonderful grading features, uh, comment banks, rubric scoring, uh, that you can take advantage of to provide feedback on your students' work. Um, I have a uh, full course on how to use Google Classroom effectively. It's called Classroom Kickstart. And if you're interested in using Google Classroom to organize your classroom and design better lessons, you can check out the information at chrmbook.com slash courses. All the details are there. But Google Classroom is a marvelous tool. I hope you'll take advantage of it this school year.